بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله حياكم الله اخوان معكم اخوكم مندر احنا الان موجودين في مقابله سريعه مع شركه اي ام دي راح نسولف اليوم نتكلم معهم على الاشياء المهمه خاصه في مجال المعالجات ومجال الاي بي يوز ومجال البطاقات الرسوميه سو كان يو تيل مي هو يو ار يس ابسولوتلي سو فيرست اوف اول ثانك يو ثانك يو فور يور تايم توداي سو ماي نيم از اومار فاكري Mm-hmm. Uh, I run sales uh, for AMD for Middle East and Africa based out of Dubai. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been with AMD for almost three years now. Great. And I've been in the region for just over eight years, uh, mainly within distribution or now on the vendor side with AMD. So uh, we're going to jump directly to the most important question. Uh, where is AMD right now? Is it uh, in the top or in the middle or is it far behind? Yeah, good question. Um, I think in regards to AMD, if we talk about our computing and graphics business, which is what um, covers client business, component graphics, component uh, CPU, MPU, mm-hmm. uh, and our pro graphics. So within our, our computing and graphics business, um, this is still very much a key focus for AMD as a company. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're working very hard now to stabilize this business internally. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been, I'd say, in a general market speaking it's been challenging um, but you know for AMD we've had a very busy second half of, of this year so far with the launch of the 300 series oh, great. Um, the Fury X the Nano uh, the Fury um, the 7670 uh, APU so for us we are making some strong progress uh, and we really focus on developing key technologies such as 4K um VR via liquid VR yeah. um and through you know world first such as high bandwidth memory yeah to really make us be you know leading position within the market so okay good. Oh, great let's uh, firstly firstly talk about the APUs sure so uh, what is the newest release from uh, the, the, the APUs that that we have uh, we have uh, so currently in the market okay sure so if you take if you take the consumer notebook APUs mm-hmm. um, which is Carrizo and Carrizo L exactly um, so you know Carrizo was uh, a huge advancement for AMD in terms of technology uh, 2.4 times performance uh, per watt mm-hmm. from the product um, it was the world's first HSA en- enabled APU oh, great. Um, so this was this was a big launch for us um, if you take the desktop APUs as well yeah so predominantly would be the 7670 Uh, which has been designed specifically for e-games, uh, online gaming, um, which essentially uh, delivers a discrete graphics experience from an APU. Okay, that's actually great. I've been trying the new, uh, the newest model of the APUs, which is uh, the K series, and actually it was uh, performing really well. Uh, this year there was the announcement of the DirectX 12. Correct. So, so uh, what kind of performance can we expect to, to so we get from, from using an APU like what we mentioned and the new, a new DirectX 12 API? Yeah, so with regards to DirectX 12, um, you know, AMD is, is, is very well positioned to leverage this technology. Um, you know, DirectX 12, it, it lends itself to high core count processors, of which AMD, as you know, is, is in terms of our APUs, is we, we have you know, up to 16 cores. Um, DirectX 12 is something which we have been working very closely to, to ensure an unrivaled experience, uh, particularly when you take Windows 10 as well, which is yeah. also, yeah. Um, it runs, runs amazingly well on, on DirectX 12. Oh, um, so for AMD, this is, you know, with the VR, with the, the 4K experience, Direct, Direct X12 is a key element of AMD's technology um, to ensure that you get an unrivaled experience. Okay, great. Uh, let's actually talk about the CPUs. Just, sure. uh, you know, uh, until now, uh, what, is, what is your latest CPU? Um, I mean, 7670 would be when it takes, you're talking about FX, so you're talking yeah, about... Yeah. So the FX range is there's not been any launches as as recent. Yeah, um, that's you know, why I'm For us, uh, we are really looking forward towards 2016 oh. with the release of Zen. 
Zen. So Zen will be the FX series cores, uh, and this, which should be towards the back end of 2016, this is when you'll see the new releases and you'll see significant improvements um, based on efficiency uh, and yeah, power, power by per watt efficiencies that you that you're seeing compared to the current generation now. Let's now move move to the to the to the most important uh, products that you guys actually make, sure. which are the uh, VGAs. Okay. Uh, right now, your newest series is 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 the R9. Okay. Some people argue that the R9 is actually there is nothing new, but it's just a refresh for the last uh, solid generation VGA cards. Okay. Is that so actually true? I mean, if you look at the if you look at the performances from the latest generation R nines, you know, if you benchmark compared to the mm -hmm. previous generation, then you know there are you can see the the performance benefits from from the previous products. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of a refresh, in terms of you know this is the three hundred series is AMD's next generation to the two hundred series. I think the mm -hmm. biggest development that we've had with our products which I think took a lot of the consumers by surprise was the launch of the Fury, yeah. Fury X and the Nano, which, mm -hmm. you know, this is a complete new range of products for AMD. Yeah, well, uh, I'm just focusing on the 300 series. I mean, if you take, if you take the 390X, if you take, the, um, if you look at 4K streaming, so this is a new, a new feature that is available from the new generation 300 series. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so by adding additional features uh, this proves that you know the product is a new generation of product and providing new features, uh, new experiences, and allowing us to provide um, you know excellent performance when it comes particularly to gaming. So, so uh, can we say right now uh, from from you know the most uh, you know fairly dominant feature with the new series of your VGAs talking about the 300 series is uh, the interaction with the 4K. Uh, and and virtual reality as well. Uh -huh. So liquid VR, um, okay. that API that we're developing, uh, particularly on virtual reality, is is a key feature of our latest products. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have the Oculus here running today on a 300 series card. Yeah, great. Um, and we're providing um, what we believe is unrivaled performance when it comes to virtual reality. Let's uh, also talk about the Fury and the Fury X. Uh, the most important thing that that caught my attention is the. Uh, implementation of the HBM. Sure. So, so uh, what is what is actually the HBM? Uh, high bandwidth memory. So essentially, it's allowing um, similar or greater performance memory uh, that we have on previous generations, but covering a much smaller physical um, area on the actual board itself. Mm. Um, so essentially, what it enables is, is we can create smaller boards, uh, mm. providing similar performance to the traditional bigger boards. Um, and it also allows us to essentially uh, increase the amount of memory on a board that wasn't possible previously. One last question about the uh, VGA card. Your actually newest edition is the Swelly Nano, right? So uh, the Nano actually lo looks almost the same as the Fury X, but you know, without the water cooling. Uh, what is the key difference between that one and, and the other one? The Nano and the Fury X. Yeah. So I mean, the clear difference uh, immediately would be the size of the product. Mm -hmm. So the the Nano, for the size, is the highest performing GPU on the market. Yeah. So we are enabling, particularly going back to the virtual reality, liquid VR, and our, and our VR applications, um, by being able to enable, you know, Fury X, um, Fury X level uh, of performance, but in a much smaller form factor. Um, this allows the ability to um, create systems, particularly for, for VR, you know, where you don't want the traditional um, big tower PCs. Mm -hmm. You can, in a much smaller space, have you know, very, very high-end graphics into a much smaller form factor, which for VR is, is what we're seeing um, many of the, the local OEMs, SIs, are looking for. Okay, good. So uh, we're, we're providing 30%, uh, around a 30% benefit over our competition on the similar oh. products. Oh. There is one uh, the, the sort of convention that AMD showed uh, its own small desktop PC or something uh, that's fairly similar to uh, Alu console. Uh, is that only a concept? I believe you're talking about the the Project Quantum. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the Project Quantum was a was a concept essentially to um, demonstrate 
the performance of our GPUs, um, particularly again when it comes to VR and, and gaming. So yeah, this was a concept product. Um, we have some official an official statement or official information that we can provide to you, which will give you yeah. more, um, a much clearer understanding of, of the project and, and what the purpose was of, of what it was. So, okay. My final uh, question. Uh, I actually wanted to get my hands on the, uh, the R9 Nano and the uh, Fury X, but, you know, currently uh, they're very hard to find. Why is okay. that? Uh, yeah, so on some of the Fury products, there has been... Um, some allocation issues, mm -hmm. uh, which is actually mainly down to the fact that due to the, the HBM memory, um, you know, this is a very new technology. So in terms of actually the, the material involved and the production process of that, um, it has put some constraints on allocation. Mm -hmm. uh, during Q4, this is going to alleviate um, considerably. Mm -hmm. So the allocation will be, will be far higher. Um, so this is, this is the main reason we've, we've uh, heard this feedback. Um, you know, it's great to know that our products are selling out. <laughs> uh, yeah, and in most, you know, from, from, from the MEA region particularly, mm. the feedback I'm getting from most countries is that the products are selling, they're on backlog and they're being pre-sold before they arrive. Mm. Um, so yeah, Q4, we should see a much better supply in terms of the production, which, which should make the situation a lot better. And then, uh, sorry, 2016, uh, you don't have any idea where is uh, AMD headed in, uh, in the VGA market? Yeah, I can give you some information. So we will be working on uh, our FinFET technology, which will be in 2016. Yeah. Um, so this will basically accelerate on the current benefits and experiences you're getting on the 300 series, oh. um, but utilizing FinFET technology. Mm -hmm. um, and this will, again, provide some, some pretty significant gains in terms of um, the performance versus the watt, wattage. And yeah. the, uh, yeah. So, you know, we're looking in some cases up to twice twice the performance we're getting on the previous cards when it comes to uh, performance per watt. Okay, great. So, uh, so I want to thank you very much. You have been very informative. And I would like to thank you guys for uh, actually providing great products. And it was a pleasure meeting you, Mr. Omar. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure as always. And yeah, we appreciate uh, everything you're doing to to make the consumers or give the consumers a chance to understand our products and the benefits. So thank okay. you very much. Okay, thank you. Now we will now to the end of the quick meeting with Omar, the chairman of the Shark Ocean and the company AMD. I hope that this meeting will be able to get your information from the new information about the new products that you have. اي ام دي كان معاكم اخوكم مندر وان شاء الله اشوفكم في مقابله ثانيه في تغذيه لمعرض جايتكس 2015 حياكم الله